Welcome to episode 34 of the Snowflake SnowPro Advanced Architect Certification in Depth Training Podcast. I'm your host, Yakub Abdul Hakim from Brightflux, and as a certified Snowflake user, I am thrilled to guide you through the intricacies of user role and grants provisioning in Snowflake. Let's dive deep into the realm of Snowflake, a platform renowned for its unique architecture and capabilities, particularly in managing users, roles, and grants. This aspect is crucial for ensuring security and proper access control within Snowflake. Firstly, let's discuss user provisioning. In Snowflake, users are entities that can execute school queries, load data, and perform various operations within the Snowflake environment. Creating a user is a foundational step in managing access controls. The creation process involves specifying a name, password, and optionally a default role and warehouse. It's important to remember the security of your data begins with a strong password policy. Moreover, users can be configured with specific parameters such as default role, default warehouse, and disabled to fine tune their access levels and operational capabilities. Also, the RSA public key authentication method provides an additional layer of security for user authentication. Now transitioning smoothly to roles. Roles are a powerful feature in Snowflake that define the permissions a user has. Unlike traditional databases, Snowflake uses a unique role-based access control system where roles can inherit permissions from other roles, creating a flexible and scalable permission structure. This model allows for fine-grained control over what users can and cannot do within the environment. Roles can be created, dropped, and modified with ease. Assigning roles to users is pivotal for defining their access scope. Furthermore, the concept of role hierarchy further enhances this mechanism, allowing roles to be nested within each other, facilitating an even more granular level of access control. Next, let's talk about grants. Grants are essentially permissions that are applied to objects within Snowflake, such as schemas, tables, and views. They are the mechanism to which roles are given access to these objects. It's imperative to understand that grants can be specified at various levels, like the database, schema, or table level, allowing for nuanced control over access to data. Additionally, the with grant option allows users to grant access to other users or roles, creating a delegated administration model that can simplify the management of permissions across large teams. Lastly, it's crucial to understand the best practices for managing users, roles, and grants in Snowflake to ensure a secure and efficient environment. Implementing a least privileged access model, regularly auditing permissions, and streamlining the role hierarchy are among the key strategies to achieve this objective. In conclusion, mastering user, role, and grants. Provisioning in Snowflake is essential for anyone looking to secure and efficiently manage their Snowflake environment. These concepts not only form the backbone of Snowflake's security model, but also provide the flexibility and scalability needed to support a dynamic and growing data landscape. Remember, this in-depth knowledge is your key to passing the Snowflake SnowPro Advanced Architect Certification exam. Embrace it and you'll be well on your way to becoming a certified Snowflake professional. Thank you for joining me, Yakub Abdul Hakim, on this journey through the Snowflake ecosystem. Until next time, keep exploring, learning and growing in your Snowflake expertise.